My name is Ali Momeni. I'm an artist and researcher and teacher. Uh, I'm here to participate in a symposium at EMAL on urban intervention techniques and practices, followed by a series of workshops uh, for one week with a number of groups and individuals that have proposed projects. Some of the people in the workshop were able to try uh, their hands at things they'd never really done before, all the way from embedded electronics and running fairly sophisticated hardware software combinations on embedded platforms like a Raspberry Pi, uh, and also a whole range of physical computing techniques. So, um, all the way from the conceptualization and design of an interface, something that you put on your body and it tells you something about your surroundings, to a, an attempt to utilize these. Uh, instruments in public spaces, which of course opens up a whole new set of challenges. The name of the project is Super Forager. It's about um, using technologies to connect people together within cities to look at alternative food sources and to collect them um, and make food together. The project itself is, and is um, in three stages, or three physical stages. It's a mobile app, which allows you to look for recipes within your city and whether you want to group forage or forage individually. We have a haptic belt, which will allow you to physically navigate um, through, um, through the phone eventually. At the moment, we're doing it through a compass. And this, which is a ring, which allows you to to connect with other people. We got really interested in trying to use wearables uh, to, to support people, help people foraging, um, just because we're interested in people connecting with the environment a bit more. Mm -hmm. So I suppose if you've, if you've got a belt or a ring, um, it means you're not, you're not getting lost in the virtual uh, space of a mobile phone or, or a map or something like that. Um, well, we're going to make some um, pesto um, tempura parcels. With, um, which was through the hops and wrapped in the leaves of the hops and some lime leaves and also uh, made some, um, some Oregon jelly, Oregon berry jelly as well to go with it. Here in Brussels, I tried to combine my experience in Germany and try to work with augmented reality and cultural heritage places. So I chose here the Grand Place, that's on ESCO heritage site in Brussels, and I'm doing experiments about how to use augmented reality to get this information about this historical place. Basically, it works like this: you are there and you scan the QR code, and then you have some bubbles of objects that floats around you. And then once you click on them, you get some information. Sometimes it could be audio, could be an image, could be a video. So we have different types of media uh, carrying around any this point of interesting object. So you have three, you have three points. Our project is Memory Tree, and it is a um, participatory site-specific project. So the memory tree is a place where they exchange memories. Uh, so it consists of three parts. Uh, there are three spirals and in the first spiral you can listen to memories uh, about, uh, about the plaza. I am the tree of the memory. I've been living here for a long time, watching people Living. And then the second part, you can write down your bad memories and you can throw them away. And then the last part is the grow part. Uh, so you can write down a memory you want to remember and you can put it on a stick and plant it under the tree. When the visitors connect to the network, then they are redirected into a web page where um, they can see a series of videos and questions that um, address our sense of belonging and the notion of home. Um, they can um, choose to watch the videos, answer the questions and 
move forward uh, within the interactive uh, narration and in the end, if they choose to reach the end, then they have uh, also a space to submit their own stories. This project's called Oscillating Cities and it's taking broadcasts of internet radio and retransmitting them over FM in public space. So it's really about curating and creating a new space within the city using a very physical medium which is FM transmission. Uh, these waves passing through the city which we don't really see but which carry a lot of information and can be decoded with these strange little objects called radios. And uh, I'm also streaming some field recordings which I've made around the city. So it's a kind of sound collage, it's a performance where I'm in the square moving around and retuning radios to create a new piece of work, a new narrative from all these fragments of space and cities and transmissions. And